I'm going to be showing you guys a shrimp tank that hasn't been cleaned in about six months. It is absolutely chocked full of plants and baby shrimp, and it's coming right up. So let's have a little peek at the tank before we actually have a little clean right. So you can see here, guys, it is really, really, really choked full of plants. And yeah, uh, the issue that we're going to have here is I can literally see tons and tons and tons of baby shrimp everywhere on this. Look at them. Oh my God, there's so many. So many. I can literally see like 30, 40 shrimp, tiny little baby shrimp and this little bit here. If you have a good eye, you can probably see it as well. Do excuse the glare, but it does show you how fast Sabwasser Tang and some of these other plants can grow if you let them just go berserk like this, right? So, yeah, let's get a water change done. We're going to take out about 10% of the water here, which is roughly about 5 litres, and then we'll take out handfuls of the stuff and just give it a gentle shake in the water. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we save all the baby shrimp and we'll fill it back up again, right? So here is your before, and we'll do it after. Let's get this in here. I can't believe how many baby shrimp there is in the top. Let's see. Water isn't too yellow. I probably could have done a bigger water change on this, but I haven't, because I haven't done a big water change on this for a little while, I'm not going to go and do a mega big, I cannot believe guys how many baby shrimp are in this. See if we can pick you up a little bit here now and again. Like, let's get the bucket quite close to the tank and yeah, we're just literally going to put our hand in like this and give it a little shake because there is a lot of baby shrimp. I'm not kidding guys, I'm going to say there's probably thousands of baby shrimp in this tank. Let's get it in here and we'll soon be able to see because these are little red shrimp if there is any in here, we'll be able to see them pretty easily, I think. My god, look at this awasser tang growth. Up and down, up and down, right? So this might be a little bit of a slow process. Not see any yet, which is a good sign. Look at the growth, my god. With a bit of luck, yeah, I can already see lots of little <laughs> red shrimp in here down the corners. Do you see them? Well, as I said, do you see them here? We are going to get all of them out of here. We're going to get, we're going to save all of these baby shrimp that we pull the plants through because it, yeah, I don't want it to be this full to the point where we can't see anything in the tank. But we will save everything, right? So I'll try, guys. I'll try and get as much of this out as possible. You should see them all in the corner over here. <laughs> Is it possible to have bee shrimp and have too many shrimp in one tank? Well, you're going to see the answer to this question very, very, very soon. We've got some hornwort here as well, quite a long bit. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with the plants here because I don't want to, like, drop them over this edge and onto the floor because any baby shrimp that we get here, guys, is probably going to be near impossible for me to pick up if I drop them on the floor. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, this is a tongue has just went berserk in here. Right, I can start to see a soaking oxidator in there. We might actually move this bucket over just a tad. So you guys can actually see the front of the tank. We are getting there, we are getting there. And so one of the little flaws I did when I built this rack was I didn't leave myself really an awful lot of room for arm space so I'm really struggling to push my arm in here. A couple more handfuls and we might be good to go actually. We might be good to go. I think we've got out <laughs> quite a bit of the sawasser tang. And then we'll, of course, let the tank settle again. And then we'll give the shrimp some food. I just want to make it clear enough, guys, that we can actually see the front again of the, the tank. But we can. We've taken a lot of plants out already. And so that gives you an idea. Look how much tighter up it is already. Let's take some of this floating plant mass at the top as well. 
We'll keep this and I'll go through it all with a fine tooth comb. And uh, yeah, let's get the water back in here. I'm just going to quickly check and see. Make sure I've not accidentally dropped any baby shrimp because it does happen, guys. If I did drop any, I would find a way to get them back in there. Let's uh, get this cleaned up. And yeah, let's get some food in the water. And let's just quickly give this a little wipe. Keep our area clean. And that looking good. Yeah, that is much better. I mean, you get an idea of how many shrimp are in here, and that's just the stuff that's at the front. Okay, my water is ready to go. We have salt and mineral GH plus to a conductivity of 200. Let's get you on. Right, you can see I have flow here. We change hands and we're going to put that flow right there. And that's where the water is going to go in near the flow so it mixes. And this can be a fast, fast drip. See it? While this fills up, I thought we'd give them a little third of a pea pellet here and I'll try and get near the front here so you can see just how many shrimp are in this tank. If it actually comes to the front, yeah, that's good enough. Right, and I'll be back in, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and we'll see if this food is still here and how many shrimp are in the tank because uh, I think you're going to be in for a shock. Next, I'm going to use this bigger net. It's a little bit wider mesh than I would normally like, but it's the only net I have that I could do this with. As you can see in here, guys, there is a lot of baby shrimp. If you just, if you can count, if you have good vision, I can see at least 30, 40 little baby shrimp all over the place. Right? And just for the sake of time, because I don't want to keep uh, any shrimp that's out of water over this side, because there was, I actually recorded this and it didn't record on the GoPro. So I want to try and get all the shrimp out of here into that tank and then all of the water in there into this bucket. Right, and I'll have to repeat this process a few times. So yeah, let's use this little net. I'm going to make sure the little flaps on it on the outside and we're just going to go swirly swirly like this and we should be able to catch all the shrimp pretty easy and pretty fast doing it this way just take your time don't go berserk gung-ho in there like smashing about the shrimp and stuff because yeah you will break their backs and I have done it before so you, you just have to be careful when you're doing this kind of thing I actually got this for my uh, ancestress to net them. Let's see, did we get most of them out there? Now let's get them into the tank as fast as possible. Let's turn this upside down. Let's see, yeah, you can see all the shrimp that's coming off that. So that was the stuff that's just in that bucket. Right, so I suspect there's going to be lots and lots more. We put them all in there. I suspect there's going to be more in that bucket. So we need to transfer the water from one bucket to the other one. Right, so I'm pretty sure there's no more shrimp in here. I can't see anything at all. So here is a really good one to show you. And that is when you have shrimp that are so small that they're almost impossible to pick up even with a tiny net. So what I like to do guys is get myself a little pipette Right, and you want to fill it guys so that there's enough water in the pipette that you can suck up the little shrimp but not get it in the bubble, right? So let's see if we can do this. There you go, and I sucked it up. Tail first, you can see it in there. Let's get it into the tank. And that is why you go through this process so many times. From bucket to bucket. You guys can probably just see the shrimp in there. I'm going to squeeze the bulb and you can see the shrimp being pushed out. See it, out you go, resistance is futile, and you'll probably see it swimming away, but yeah, look how many shrimps in here. Look how many, I can't believe how many small shrimp there is as well. So I went back and forward guys, I've done this at least five times, back and forward, back and forward. In the first three pails I had a couple of shrimp, and then the, the last two I had one in each, and then since that I've not had any, so... What I'll do is, I'll keep this, I'm going to just keep an eye on it. This will probably be going into another bee shrimp tank anyway somewhere, so if there is still baby shrimp in here, they're not going to be killed anyway, but I highly doubt that there is now, but you never know. So I think the tank is full enough. Let's turn the water off. I think we may give this front edge a little bit of a clean here. Just this top part, if you can even see that high, that is, be your little stumpy bit legs and bodies. Just dip the paper towel in the water and give the front edge a tiny clean. Yeah, it looks a little bit better than it was. It's not perfect by any means, 
But um, yeah, it's a tiny bit bare. But how are the shrimp? That's what you guys are asking. How are the shrimp? Let's see. More babies everywhere. And there'll be a lot of them that are hiding now, guys, because uh, we have been putting our hands in there and mixing stuff up and whatever else. So there you go. There is my tank. It's all clean and looking real good. Have a nice weekend, guys.